Hey everyone, what is up? Um, Josh from TapKit here. I'm going to give you a quick bite sized uh, intro to the builder within TapKit. Um, let's get into it. So, uh, this is one build mode type. So, depending on the goals that you've chosen or the template that you've chosen, you'll drop into one of two different build mode types. One um, is a scrollable single page canvas that you can grow um, and make as long as you want, and uh, that was that'll be scrollable on mobile and desktop. Um, and number two is a uh, tappable uh, frame by frame experience, which is kind of like Instagram stories. You know, digital stories are one of the world's most favorite um, formats for mobile. Um, and sort of TapCat, TapKit replicates this on a, on a web base. Um, so these, a bit differently, this is uh, frame by frame uh, experiences that you can build out. And you can also add in smart result frames to serve different endings based on people's interactions throughout the main flow if you're using some of the widgets on the left. So um, to dive into this in a bit more detail, um, over on the right side you get your properties and your project settings. Um, so uh, you can see you can name your project, manage your frames, um, you probably have guides turned on that you can switch off if you like, um, helps you lay it out. Um, but your project settings are over here and that's exactly the same on um, the other page type too. So uh, you know all of your general settings up here and you can change your metadata for SEO there too. Now, uh, in the middle you have your canvas and pretty much everything in here is um, you know, engageable. So once you click on it, uh, the panel on the right will change to edit its properties. So I can change the color, um, I can change the layering over here and maybe scale this up a bit. Um, just bring it right to the front, just keep clicking that till it raises above, like so. I can uh, click on this email, set my email that I want to set it to, change the color of that button, like so. Everything is positionable and movable and uh, you can lay it out how you like, complete complete creative control. And that's across both both experience types. You know, I could change this image to uh, something like this. Um, you can upload your own or search for stocks inside the tool. But generally speaking, everything that you engage with um, on the right, you then can change its settings. Um, and then over on the left, you have all of the widgets. So all of the fun stuff is happening over on this side. Um, so if I click on some of these, you'll get to see um, what's inside. So uh, over here, we have social follows. So if you want to use social buttons, contact buttons like WhatsApp chat, Facebook message, email, call, um, heroing, social, some visual cards. So if you're running a campaign or want to create visual buttons, YouTube buttons, graphic announcers, um, and image buttons, product grids, lots and lots of stuff to choose from and add into your experiences. And to add those in, all you have to do is um, click on it and it'll pop into your canvas and then you can change all the settings and lay it out how you like. Um, let's have a look at some of the other ones. You've got buttons, text, icon, button grids if you wanna um, do a sort of a bank of buttons real quick, uh, app store buttons, image, video, profile icons, lots of text styles to choose from, um, Giphy stickers, a lot of fun. So you know, search. You can search across Giphy and make an experience. If there's a birthday badge, maybe you're creating a birthday um, experience that people can join and be part of. Um, lots of fun stuff uh, inside. You got graphics packs, so um, lots of icons and symbols to choose from. You can see some of them have been pulled in in this one. Um, but generally speaking, have a have a have a look down there and pick out some stuff, maybe to add some sort of creative accents in the backgrounds. Um, email capture, emojis, um, lots of interactive widgets, so um, less relevant for the scrollable page type, but more so um, with the frame by frames. But you can start um, adding in polls and pickers and sliders and open um, responses too. So lots and lots to choose from. Um, this is a general introduction to the builder. You know, you can click on things, um, set them to loop, autoplay. Um, you can add uh, logic to buttons, so uh, if you want to auto, when someone presses it, it automatically moves them onto the next frame. Um, have a general look around. Um, lots of widgets on the left, lots of properties on the right. Um, have fun with it, um, and if you have any questions, feel free to reach out.